Well, let's check if we're live. Okay, we are live and we have sound. <laughs> Welcome to God is in the Ark for Saturday, December the 16th, 2023. Uh, Pastor Christopher will join me in a few minutes. He's on a call to Malawi. And uh, I'm not, well, <clears throat> he's a pastor of pastors. And so I, I'm. Whenever he's any place he can access the internet, the calls come in. Some of them, of course, urgent prayer requests. So <clears throat> we appreciate Pastor Christopher. He's been an awesome contribution to the uh, service and the ministry here in uh, Carberry, Manitoba, Canada. And we'll get started here without him. I'll touch on some things from last week. Um, we touched on Matthew 24. Um, the um, Oh, what would you want to call it? A lesson in rewards for service. Yeah, let's and the the caution, of course. There is definitely a reward. I think, where did we go with that? Um, where did we go? Um, I have to take Pastor Chris's example. <laughs> uh, this is not working well because we failed to stop and pray. Father, we thank you that you and your Holy Spirit alone reveal to us Scripture. Your Holy Spirit alone anoints us to be able to say and speak and preach that which is on your mind. Father, we thank you that uh, the awesome gift of your Holy Spirit that enables us to <laughs> enables us to speak the very words that you would speak if you were here. Oh, Father, we trust that you will speak through us today. That you have things you want to say to your children all over the world, Father, from Fiji to Bangladesh and India and all the way back around through Africa and uh, here in Canada and the US, the USA. Father, we have viewers all the way around the world who in their <laughs> times and seasons uh, get to watch or to listen, to pray for us. Uh, so we trust we trust that you've put words in my heart and in Christopher's, Father, that will be a blessing to your children and a caution not to make the mistakes that uh, we were told that the book is full of lessons 
and it's full of the mistakes that others have made that we should learn from them and not make the same mistakes. And prayerlessness would be one of those, and I have to confess, I started out without. Father, thank you for reminding me that we need to start with invoking your power and your presence and your Holy Spirit. So, Father, thank you so very much for your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in verse, so we'll say 46, 40, oh, we're in chapter 24 of Matthew. Blessed is the servant whom his Lord, when he comes, will find him so doing. Uh, and the previous verse, the uh, servant is providing food for his household. As a leader, this would be the speaking the word. <coughs> Providing for those for whom he is a leader and responsible for. So. And then the caution. The caution that uh, those who fail to do what they were counted responsible for, they, the Lord even calls them evil servants. Um, those who failed to obey what he had to say and do, and those who uh, were started to abuse servants. his people. Those who... And we got an echo from <laughs> We are live. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, mm -hmm. have yeah. come late. We yeah, no, we, no, you we, were we on a call and um, it was important. Yeah, you continue with our teaching. Uh, the, the, yeah, so okay. I just kind of... Uh, reviewing a, a little bit of last week, okay. uh, just to set the ground for, mm -hmm. and we'll get into the five virgins here in a moment. So I was just uh, pointing out that the uh, there was a blessing of a promotion mm -hmm. and, and of greater, a greater responsibility and mm -hmm. greater authority mm -hmm. given to the wise servant mm -hmm. who did what his master told him to do. And we're just going to touch on the those servants that were not wise. Um, and the Lord actually calls them uh, evil, evil mm. servants, mm. because they were given the word, they were given a responsibility, mm. but they uh, failed to do it. Mm. And then just turned around, and we were talking about it last week, how they were abusing their fellow servants, mm -hmm. how they were misusing their mm -hmm. uh, position of authority to uh, strip them of their money mm -hmm. and uh, feed them so poorly that uh, their faith was weak or whatever, and God called that kind of failure evil. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and the warning is, then in verse 51 of chapter 24, we just <clears throat> talked about how the Lord would cut him off from his place of ministry. He would lose his authority. He would lose his place and position. Mm -hmm. And he would be assigned a place with the hypocrites mm -hmm. in outer darkness. Mm -hmm. And we just decided, well, uh, my opinion, mm -hmm. um, that outer darkness is actually a part of heaven, but it's the extreme fringes where the uh, those who have been born again but spent their whole lifetime mm -hmm. uh, looking out for their own interests and not for his. Mm -hmm. But there is a place yes. where they... Uh, You know, when they experience weeping and gnashing of teeth mm -hmm. um, because they're in deep regret that they had the truth, but they wasted their whole lives looking after their own interests. So that 
that's a caution to set up what the wise virgins knew and what the unwise, the same lesson uh, in a different form. Yeah, so, on, on that one, I just want to add on that one. You say, I would put it in this uh, English that he, it is a compound uh, statement. You know, when you look at the foolish virgins, there were the people who were given an opportunity, or in this case, an opportunity to serve God. Yeah. But they did not decide to serve God in the manner that God expected them to. Right. You know, so this is a, another important aspect as believers or as children of God, we must be very uh, careful as to uh, uh, how much do we or how much do we uh, give ourselves ourselves to the service of God mm -hmm. how much do we give ourselves because uh, the thing is when we read the Bible most on the gospel and this is the gospel uh, where we are we've taken St. Uh, Matthew's gospel the Bible or Jesus was clear speaking to the disciples that the owner has left the field in the hands of his servants. Mm -hmm. That means the owner has got that trust and the confidence yeah. that his servants will carry the duty to his expectations. Amen. You know? So uh, when you look at this kind of, uh, I mean, at this time, you find that people are called born again. People are called, they call themselves servants of God. But they are so much concerned with their everyday life mm, yeah. than what God has entrusted them to do, you know. Amen. So this, I put it as being a foolish virgin. Amen. I put it as being a foolish virgin. You know, uh, when you talk of uh, uh, the kingdom of God here on earth, God has not sent angels. God has sent us. Amen. And he wants to work through us. Amen. You know. So if we uh, do not give as God is expecting us to give to his service, mm -hmm. we are called the foolish virgins. Amen. And uh, when we talk of salvation, the Bible says, uh, how can they be saved? If those who are sent do not say the word of God, Amen. When you know when you read the the, the word say the faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. How Amen. does somebody hear the word of God? He hears the word of God through the servants of God. Amen. Now, if I say if I am uh, saying I'm saved today, you find that God used you mm -hmm. for me to be saved. Amen. Now the question is, how many people has God used me? For their salvation. Mm -hmm. If I was saved through the message you preached to me, then there's somebody out there who is waiting. The message that God has given me. Amen. You know? So when I look at these uh, foolish virgins, I look in that manner to say, uh, many are called foolish virgins because uh, they are not stepping in the will of God. You know, people say, God has called me. Our God wants to do this. Our God wants to do this. Then the question is, where is your step? Yeah. Amen. Where is your yep. step? What do you do about it? Exactly. I cannot see it. But all that I can see is your voice. Yep. I mean, you, you are saying, God has called me. God has called me to say, I'm sending me as a prophet to the nations. This God is sending me. But now, where is it? Amen. You know, when you look at this kind of a thing, sorry, uh, I just want to put more emphasis. When you look at this kind of a thing, there are so many words that uh, has come upon an individual, mm. the words of God. You know, people, maybe people have prophesied. People have spoken to my life through some other people. Mm. But now, if I do not do anything about that prophecy, nothing is going to happen. Amen. Absolutely nothing is going to happen. I'll yeah. be saying uh, when I was maybe somewhere there, a man of God walked onto me and he prophesied when I was there, man of God, this and this. You know, Paul said to Timothy, flame 
the gift of God Amen. that came upon you by laying my hand and prophesying. You know, Amen. You know, when you look at that one, he says, flame that thing. Now, the, 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 the duty of Timothy was to flame it. Yeah. That was it. To stir it up. To stir it up. Yeah. Now, when somebody prophesied to you that you'll be a prophet of the nations, have you stirred up that? It's a gift from God. Amen. What have you done about it? You find it? You, so, so, many of, so many people are in that category of a foolish virgins. Yes. And we pray. That's why we are here, you and me, to open uh, eyes as the Bible says, uh, iron sharpen another word, iron. Amen. So that's why we are here. That's why you have brought this teaching to say there, there's something that must be done for us not to be called foolish virgins. Amen. Amen. You know? So this is so when there's you... There's a lesson. There's a lesson indeed. When you were explaining that one, the Spirit of God has been revealing to me and said, no, it's not... The, the being foolish, you say, God is expecting me to do something. Amen. And at the end of the day, he finds that I've not done what he was expecting. I've done nothing about uh, with the gift that he has given me. Amen. So what do he call me? He calls me what? A foolish one. Yeah, amen, absolutely. A foolish one, you know. So we pray to God that as our viewers are listening this message, they have to think of their life. What is it that God has given them? Amen. And how far have they done with that gift that God has given them? You know, God is not going to descend from heaven and be in, on, on streets or in towns or in market square preaching to, uh, 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 evangelizing to people. God has given us that, that gift. Amen. That we have to go and speak. Amen. For how, how do we expect them to be saved if we do not speak? We people who say we know the word of God. We know that God has given us that gift. If we do not go out and speak, yeah. how are they going to be saved? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. I just wanted yeah. to add yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Praise be to God. You make it easy for me to mm. teach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come again. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, praise God. So, that you, so mm. the, the point in all of that <clears throat> is that there may be great promises in your life, mm -hmm. but until you get up mm -hmm. and go out and do. Mm -hmm. No, not everyone is going to speak and be a preacher and be mm -hmm. an evangelist. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But... There, well, we're both so mm -hmm. dependent on those who pray for us, yes. the prayer warriors mm -hmm. and the intercessors, mm -hmm. and uh, some are given a gift of healings, mm -hmm. and they lay hands mm -hmm. on folks and they're mm -hmm. healed. Uh, yeah. yeah, and so there yeah. are so many different ways mm -hmm. that you can serve. Yes, yes. You can, the calling yes. of God on your life, you can yes. serve. Yes, yes, you, you have given me another... Uh, another uh, point of that one, you know, not all people who can go and evangelize. No, the house of God has got so many departments. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so many departments. You know, we have got the. Uh, they say uh, we would say we have got the poor, the needy. Mm -hmm. You find that God is blessing me just to help the needy. Yes, to house them, to give them clothing. Yeah. You know, so. The problem is, you know, the problem is when God begins to bless me, then I begin to look around myself to say, which area is not okay about me? Mm. Okay, this is the area, this is the area. This is, I do not see the reason God has what? Has blessed me. Mm. This really happens, Pastor Ralph, I've seen it. It happens in the body of Christ. You know, this time maybe you find that when, when I'm poor and I see somebody poor, I'm so concerned. I share. But now when God has seen me that he, I've got that heart of giving and then he begins to bless me so that I bless others, you find that I no longer bless anybody. Yes. I sit down with those blessings. That's another department where mm -hmm. God has called us to bless others. When he blesses us, bless others. You know, as you are putting it, God has given us a gift of healing. Mm -hmm. Not for me to be healed. Yeah. But for somebody out there yeah, man. to be healed. You know? Yeah. God has given me uh, the, the secret of seeing beyond what eyes can see. That's what we call prophecy. Amen. By merely looking at you, I begin to see what happened with you uh, yesterday night or what is going to happen with you tomorrow. Then I, that gift is not for me. 
Exactly. It's for the people. Yeah. When we read that, that we, when we read that Ephesians, is it Ephesians chapter four? They give that when he ascended, he gave some to be apostles. And when you come to down, he says for the well-being of what? Amen. The, the whole body. The whole body. Amen. Not for the whole being of me, but the body of Christ Amen. Jesus. So in the house of God, as you have put it, there are so many departments. Yeah. But now, when I have been, you know what? 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 what, what when I was looking at this teaching, Pastor Love, I found that it is a privilege. Oh yes. It is more. Uh, I don't know how I can put it. When when God comes and says, Pastor Love, I want you to go there. It is a privilege when God is sending you. Yes. Very much privilege. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It's just, um, mm. you know, it is such an honor mm -hmm. for him to trust you. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, at this season we're looking at the Christmas season, mm -hmm. and what an honor and a privilege it was mm -hmm. for Mary. Mm -hmm. What, what kind of faith did she have in her heart mm -hmm. and relationship with the Father mm -hmm. that he would pick her out of mm -hmm. all women mm -hmm. to carry his son mm -hmm. and to raise that son, mm -hmm. you know, because he's being raised as a man, mm -hmm. a man uniquely filled with the Spirit, mm -hmm. but still a man. And he's he has to be... Nurtured by his mother, mm -hmm. cared for in every way you care for a baby, mm -hmm. and she has to pray for him, Amen. sing hymns over him, mm -hmm. to build him up. Mm -hmm. And uh, typically at that time, mothers would teach their children to read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And so they're part of the training that mother did was to raise them up in faith Amen. and in the ministry. Mm -hmm. So God trusted her mm -hmm. to raise up his son mm -hmm. to be all that he was called to be. Mm -hmm. She knew from the beginning that he was called to be Messiah, Amen. but she had to introduce that idea mm -hmm. to him because mm -hmm. as a baby, mm -hmm. as a child, mm -hmm. these things are foreign. Mm -hmm. Now, he would be a unique student, mm -hmm. and he would, the moment he heard the word, it would become alive in him, mm -hmm. in the spirit. But Absolutely. nevertheless, she was trusted with that, mm -hmm. and she carried it out very mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. very responsibly. Mm -hmm. And what an example for us. Mm -hmm. This is what the Lord wants us to do yes. with the gifts he's given mm -hmm. us. Amen. And, uh, um, wow. Yeah, the, uh, you know, the number one thing he's given me is a love for the word mm -hmm. and a desire then to teach. Amen. That's mm -hmm. that's another thing. You know, you find that when you open the Bible, you begin to uh, uh, reveal what is written there. Yeah. I, I may read it as a history to say Jesus went into Captain Capernaum and where he was there. I will read it as history. But when you open the Bible, you find that you begin to um, uh, um, unearth, so to say, what is underneath that mm. word. And that's the gift that God has given you, you know. Mm. So that gift is not for you. No. It's for God. I mean, I get a blessing mm -hmm. out of it. You I get the first blessing when I get the this revelation. Is what, this this is what we, we, we have to bring to the people to say, mm -hmm. what God has given you is not for you. Amen. It's for God himself. Amen. It's just as good as the, uh, the car you have it in, 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 at home. You use it for your mobility. Mm -hmm. To go there and there, here and there, here and there. It's for you. That's what the Bible says. He created us for himself. Amen. We are for him. Amen. We are not for ourselves. We are for God. And the gift that he gives us, they are not for us. They are for him. Amen. They are the tools. It's like a, 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 a desk in an office. It's like a chair in an office. It's like a bobbin in an office. It's like a pencil in an office. They are not the offices. They are the tools that one uses in an office. Amen. So we are the tools that God uses us in his own work. Amen. 
You know. So this is what we're, it, we're I, a unique kind of tool mm -hmm. in that we have a choice mm -hmm. whether we do mm -hmm. what, what he we, wants. Mm -hmm. This is the reason why he says if we do not do, we will the Bible says we will cut off, we will be cut off yeah, amen. and be thrown. You know, it's, it's just like we are not uh, productive, so to say. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing that we say when a company is not productive, what do we do? We, we shut it down. Yeah. We close it because we call it's it bankrupt and shut it down. We shut it down. And so it's the same way the Bible is giving an account to somebody who is not performing, who is sitting down like a, a foolish virgin, you say, the solution has been given, or the 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 the, the conclusion, or either the uh, I'll put it yes, the conclusion has been given. It says, "I'll be cut off and be thrown away." Amen. So, who, 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 I mean, I do not desire to be. I mean, I do not expect to be cut off. And the question comes: What is it that will make me being cut off mm. by God? You know, and one of them we see in here mm -hmm. is. Uh, just not bearing any fruit. Mm -hmm. Just not bearing you, you, fruit. Yeah, so the, the question now is coming away is that why should I not bear fruits? Yeah. <laughs> because it's like I'm pronounced a tree of fruit. Yeah. yeah. Now, why should I find myself not bearing fruits? I said the number one question. Why should I find myself not bearing fruits? Because God has called me that I should bear fruits. And you know what is interesting here? The one who produces fruits is not me. It's mm -hmm. God himself. Amen. What I do, I make myself available. If God has given me the spirit of healing, if I'm not available to a person who is sick, I'll not see that, uh, that gift in me. Yeah. I'll not see. So the thing is, I, should, I must make myself available. Yeah. I see it in that way. I must make myself available where God wants me to be. You know, when... when, when, when when you want to use something, it must be available. Amen. Yeah. If it is yeah. not available, you say, I failed. Or you say, Christopher, I failed to come because my car was picked by my son. My car was picked by my wife. My car was picked by... You know, the reason is you did not come. You had that willing of coming, but he, the means to come was not there. Yeah. So God is willing to heal somebody. But how does he heal somebody? The power does not simply descend when you are sitting and then he... Uh, you, the, the Bible says he has given somebody the gift of healing. Then it is the responsibility of this man to be available for God to use him. Yeah. Amen. That's Amen. the responsibility. That I must be available for God to use me. You must be, as you are here, you are available. God is using me. You, I mean using you, I sending out the teachings that the Spirit of God is revealing to you. Okay. Each time you hold the Bible, you read, the Spirit of God brings something in, in a very unique way to you, and you write it down, then you share. You are available. Amen. And you always look forward to the day you sit behind the mic, microphone and then you share the, the revelation that God has given you. Amen. That is availability. Yeah. You know, that's availability. Yeah. So this is the point now that you are saying to say, the reason that uh, uh, if I am not productive, that means I'm not available for God yeah. to use me. Because I'm pronounced by God himself that I'm a tree of the fruits Amen. of God. Amen. So, and so uh, yeah, to, uh, you know, uh, you freely received, mm -hmm. freely give. Give, absolutely. And then in another place it says, to whom much is given, much, much is, is expected. expected. Absolutely. Much is expected. Mm -hmm. So if you're given great and wonderful gifts, mm -hmm. it's you. It's the expectation is like the uh, fig tree. Mm -hmm. Jesus expected to find fruit on it. The, that particular fig tree withered up and dried away, dried up and withered away because mm -hmm. it was failing to mm -hmm. produce fruit mm -hmm. for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And that happens, mm -hmm. and it is sad when it happens. Mm -hmm. When you see it to leaders in the body, and mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. they're failing to do their job. Uh, amen. 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 You know, you know, there's something that is really, you know what? I'm feeling on, I'm feeling like him. There's something that I really 
uh, according to the wonderful teaching that you have brought here, there's this thing that I really want to emphasize very much. You know, the church is not active because we don't stand up. Mm. We, we have conformed ourselves to the pattern of this world. Amen. You know, we have conformed ourselves to the pattern. You know, and there's this thing that is really uh, eating our zeal and the momentum that God has given us mm. is that we are just so happy when we know the word of God. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just very happy. And we share with our wives and our children and we feel like it's just enough because, I know, God has not given us, he's not expecting, if God has revealed that word to us, that kind of knowledge, we need to stand up and let other people have the same knowledge that we Amen. have. How do they, how, how do we stand up? We, I mean, we have to go out. Yes. As the wise people. Amen. You know, this is what the, the first disciples did. You know, at, at times when they, I, I, I was reading the, the revelation of Peter, you sat somewhere as, as sleeping in that house, and then you saw somebody beckoning him from a far distance. Amen. And when he woke up, he says, God is sending me to that place. Amen. They needed the gospel. He rose up and went into that particular place. He preached the gospel. And to his surprise, when he laid a hand upon them, he found that the spirit, the same spirit that descended on the Jews, Amen. the same spirit that descended on the Gentiles. You Amen. Know, you know, he knew the kingdom. He knew the word of God. But he did not sit down with it. So the, the thing that is killing the atmosphere of the church today is that we sit down with the knowledge that we have. Amen. And it is my prayer, Pastor Love, that we must understand what we are supposed to do Amen. at this hour. Because, you know, when we, 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 we hear uh, in the Old Testament, God says, if you fail to go and preach, his blood will be upon you. Mm. You know. Amen. The knowledge that God has given us the gift that God has given us is not for us to boost them or to say. Amen. Um, it is a pencil in the house of God. Yeah. Amen. It is simply a pencil in the house. This is the thing, Pastor Raph, that is uh, not sitting well with me. You know, I, I see at it as just you, as the, the, the uh, a foolish virgin. I see it when you, you see Jeremiah. It was a, one, one time Jeremiah thought of giving up. You know, he thought of giving up because he couldn't. You know, when you read the history of Jeremiah, he says he preached for forty years without without results. Yeah. Then he decided to sit down. Why? Why am I preaching without results? Mm -hmm. And then he found that what he, God put in his uh, in his in him, so to say, it turned out to be like fire. Amen. You know, it turned out he, he, he was unable to hold it. So if we are holding what God has given us, we should question Amen. ourselves to say, what kind of a servant of God I am? Mm -hmm. If I'm able to quench the gift of God that is within me, if I'm able to quench it, then I should question. Because if it is a true gift from God, I will not have peace. Amen. Just as Jeremiah never had peace. He decided, he said, enough is enough. I'm no longer going to preach. But when he sat down, he says, your word was like fire yeah. in my bones. Amen. Yeah. He couldn't hold the word of God. So if you and me, we are able to hold what God has given us this time, then we should question Amen. if we are true servants of God. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. If we are true servants of God, we should question because a true servant, if God has really deposited something in you, you cannot suppress it. It will always, it's like a seed in you. Whether you put it under something, you find it germinating. Amen. Whether it is dry season, it will germinate. Amen. Whether you put it in water, you will germinate. It has life everywhere. Amen. 
It has life everywhere. So, so this is the just this is the, what I really wanted to emphasize on the foolish virgins. It's a compound statement, as I did put it in the first press. It's a very compound statement. Um, like our viewers out there, just uh, just question. Uh, let's question ourselves to say, what kind of a servant of God, as Jesus put it in this in his parable, the wise uh, virgins and the foolish what? Virgins. So where do we suit ourselves or where do we fit in according to our everyday what? Amen. Everyday life. Where do we fit in? Amen. You, I do not need somebody to explain to me, but let what I do um, every day explain where I belong. Do I belong to wise virgins? Amen. Do I belong to foolish virgins? Yeah. So this is what was really in my heart to say if you are able to quench the gift of God within you, question your how to put it spiritual life. Yeah. Amen. We'll paraphrase, but to, out of the abundance of the heart, the mm -hmm. mouth speaks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But uh, you can put that out of the abundance of a heart, mm -hmm. I act mm -hmm. on what's in mm -hmm. there. In there. I do mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. in there, whether mm -hmm. it's speaking mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. My actions, mm -hmm. my behavior, mm -hmm. my attitude, yes. all of that mm -hmm. that comes mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the presence mm -hmm. of the Spirit mm -hmm. in me, mm -hmm. then, wow, mm -hmm. awesome thing. Mm -hmm. The world around me has changed. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere around mm -hmm. me changes. Mm -hmm. But, uh, wow, yeah. Prize Out of the beauty. abundance of your heart. Yes. On the other hand, mm -hmm. there are some, you know, we both know, Mm -hmm. known people you don't talk to them for very long mm -hmm. when you know the abundance of their heart yes yes it's, it's, it's very selfish amen very yeah. very yeah. praise yeah. be to god yeah mm -hmm. that's yeah it gets mm -hmm. it gets really mm -hmm. serious and really scary mm -hmm. when you know someone mm -hmm. has powerful gifts mm -hmm. and they're either not using them at all mm -hmm. Or they're abusing their mm -hmm. gifts, mm -hmm. and God really takes a mm -hmm. a dim view of abusing your gifts for your own benefit, because mm -hmm. everything given, mm -hmm. you, I mean, mm -hmm. the gift of salvation was given to you mm -hmm. to benefit, mm -hmm. yes, but not that you should keep the the blessing. But you should pass it on. Pass on, yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I have to pass it on. I have to pass it on. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Continue. So this, yeah. <laughs> this is a very wonderful teaching. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you for all the wonderful teaching. <laughs> so <Wow>. far. <laughs> I don't know what will happen when, when I leave Canada. Oh. I go back to Malawi. I mean... Ah, praise be to God. I well, don't know what praise to Praise be to God. I don't know what to happen. You will all be, uh -huh. you will be a uh, co-director of uh, the ark. Yeah, but I'll miss your wonderful, I'll be following, but I'll miss your wonderful teachings. We are well, in, hey, yes, hey, yes. I, I am already missing when you go home. Amen. The, uh, Amen. the yeah. wonderful teaching in the ark here. Mm -hmm. in the training center yeah, because you have such a heart mm. you have such a heart no it's, it's by, by, by his grace I am blessed by it every time we sit down together here mm -hmm. to teach and, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. the audience needs to know that mm. we do not sit down and plan this out before in the before mm -hmm. uh, what you what you see is live. It's happening right now in the spirit between us. Yes. Uh, yes. It is really the spirit of God that is revealing everything. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> My name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I guess the, the, well, the, just a few little points yes. that, I, that I'll, I'll make about this story. Yes. Um, Reading in chapter 25 mm -hmm. of Matthew, uh, starting in verse 1, but lessons to be learned. In verse 1, mm -hmm. they were all virgins. 
Okay. They were, they were all virgins. So they were all pure. Mm -hmm. They were pure. Mm -hmm. They they all had lamps. Mm -hmm. They all had lamps, mm -hmm. and they were lit. Yeah. Before you go further, let, let's, let me explain. They were all virgins. And what did the Bible mean by virgin? What the Bible means by virgin? Every born again uh, Christian is married to Christ Jesus. Mm. And therefore, Christ Jesus calls us his own virgins. Yes. Amen. And number two, the Bible says they all had lamps. Yep. They all had the Spirit of God. Yes. When you and me, we are saved, we, we accept Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior, the Spirit of God comes upon us. So all these two categories had the Spirit of God. Yes. And they were purified by Jesus himself. Yeah. That's why he calls, he calls us virgins. Yeah. So I just wanted, I don't want to go yeah. into details, but I just wanted... We'll get there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yes. But, uh, mm -hmm. So they're all virgins. Mm -hmm. They all had lamps. Lamps. They all had oil in mm -hmm. their lamps. Mm -hmm. They all had the fire. Mm -hmm. So they had the oil of the mm -hmm. Spirit. Mm -hmm. They had the revelation, mm -hmm. the light of mm -hmm. God, because mm -hmm. they were their, mm -hmm. their lamps were mm -hmm. lit. So they, uh, yeah, when you talk of the light of God, the Bible says, Jesus is the light. They had Amen. light. Yeah, they had the revelation. They had the revelation. They had the revelation. So now our viewers there look onto this danger. There's a very slight thing that brought a different between these two categories of people. Mm. But when you look from their beginning, they all came in that very good manner. They all received Christ Jesus. They all had the revelation of the word of God. They all had the oil, the spirit of God. They had the, the lamp. They were all invited to the, the wedding feast. Of they the were Lord. all invited to them. But there's a very slight thing that brings it, it I mean, I would say, divides them. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Mm. So we know five were wise and mm -hmm. five were foolish. Mm -hmm. The foolish had the oil. They had the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had the light of revelation. Mm -hmm. We can safely say that they were born again. Mm -hmm. They were saved. Yes. But they didn't press mm -hmm. into the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to have a surplus of oil. Mm -hmm. They had enough oil to mm -hmm. get started mm -hmm. and enough revelation mm -hmm. to know where the, mm -hmm. what the... Mm -hmm the revelation of mm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. So they were born again. Mm -hmm. They had the oil. Mm -hmm. But they didn't press in for more of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have enough oil mm -hmm. to last mm -hmm. for any length of time. Mm -hmm. um, they had oil. They had revelation. <laughs> but they didn't... They're the wise. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. They had oil. Mm -hmm. They had the revelation. Mm -hmm. But they pressed in for more oil. Mm -hmm. Oil. Okay, so they wound up having a lamp and the other hand full of a container with oil in it. So this tells you something. The difference is the foolish ones had the lamp, they had the revelation, they had the oil, they had the beginning starting place, but this hand was still busy in the world, Praise doing God. their own things. Praise they didn't God. take time to oh, pick hallelujah. up the, the ministry of I the Spirit and of walking I feel, it. I feel like speaking in tongues. Or, you yeah. know, the revelation you are bringing in here. Wow. You so, see, this hand did hold the lamp. Yeah. While this hand was busy with worldly things. Yeah. Now, as a result, this lamp didn't continue burning. Yeah. Yeah. They, you, the initial revelation got them started. Mm -hmm. But then it was, soon there ran was out. no flow there, there was no continual flow of the oil yeah. to make this lamp continue, continue burning or continue yeah. giving light. Yeah, exactly. You know? So in this case, Pastor Laf, you are saying these two hands, the hand that is holding the lamp and the hand that the other hand the duty of this other hand is to supply oil. Yes. Yes. Yeah. To supply oil that he, there must be light throughout. But in between the two, mm -hmm. this part mm -hmm. has to make a decision. It has to make a decision. The will has to mm -hmm. say, 
Mm-hmm. Now, I will mm-hmm. let down, mm-hmm. let go of my things, mm-hmm. so I can take up His mm-hmm. things. Oh, and praise be to God! Stir up the oil Father, and stir up you. the Spirit within me. Do the things that are pleasing to mm-hmm. Him, mm-hmm. not the things that are pleasing mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. So, in other ways, Pastor Love, you're saying my spiritual life is not a one day thing. No, no. It is, I have to be working on it on a daily basis. Yeah. For my lamp to continue burning, giving light, Mm -hmm. I must always be receiving new revelations from the Word of God. Yeah. You know, when I look at this, uh, as according to the points that you have raised here, when I look at these uh, virgins, they were just satisfied with the day they received Christ. Mm-hmm. So they continue speaking, I'm a born again, I'm Christ, I'm this. While of their everyday life, we are not helping them to remain in the state, mm. in that, uh, I would say, in that position as born again children of God. Mm-hmm. You know, their everyday life. So this is happening everywhere or either in the body of Christ. You know, it, it brings me, you know, uh, that's that's why most of the time myself and my spirit does not agree with the statement that says I cannot lose salvation. Mm-hmm. Chances are there that I can lose salvation. Because what God is expecting me is to be continually working on my word. Mm-hmm. It's a progressive thing. Mm-hmm. It's a progress it's progressive. I must continue uh, continue. That's why the Paul says in Ephesians chapter in Ephesians yes, chapter eight. He says, "Be fit. Continue feeding yourself with the Holy Spirit, Amen. so that it is the Spirit of God that brings revelation, that makes me understand the Word of God." You know. Mm-hmm. So these poor virgins, why did he, this? Why did he, the flow of the oil stopped in their lives? As you put it, his hand was too busy doing too it. busy doing them. They were not serious with what they ho- did hold in their hands. Amen. They were not serious, and uh, they had oil for a while. They had the oil, a lim- a, 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 an oil. Maybe would put it in a, a one week oil. Yeah. So there are some other people who can be born again for a week. They yeah. can be born again for a year. Yeah. They can be born again for five years. But you find that they sleep. Now we pray in the name of Jesus that everybody listening to us understand the importance of sustaining or keeping or securing their faith in Christ Jesus. Because, Because you know what is happening? People do not understand. You know what is happening? I put it an example always. Like at home, we, we do not keep cow as your cow here. Your cow here, they are so obedient, so to say. <laughs> Ours, even if you put them inside the, uh, the, 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 we call it cora, I don't know. Yeah, uh, corral. Yeah, corral. You know, they will break it and go outside. Mm. So I always uh, exemplify to say a believer is somebody who has broken the core of the enemy mm. and has gone into the core of uh, the house of God. Amen. So the enemy is not busy with the ones that are already yeah. in his core. Amen. He is busy with those who have broken his core and they are in the core of one. And he is planning, doing everything to bring them back. Yeah. So there are those chances that one can backslide. If, if, mm-hmm. if, if, backs, if, if there was like, a, I, I cannot lose salvation, I don't think we would have had a word which says somebody can backslide. Because, because as a, I have been taught in the theology circles, say whatever has got a name exists. Mm. It exists. Amen. When we say, when people say there are no witchcraft, then where did we get the word witchcraft? Yeah. If there is no witchcraft. That means it, is, it exists. So if you, somebody says, I cannot lose my salvation, then why is it the Bible, in the Bible we have words like backsliding? Mm. You, know. Yeah. Um, you know, so... so This is a place... Uh, 
I this this will be my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, because the Bible says, uh, before you go to the opinion, you know, the Bible says, a man can go back and eat what he has vomited. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That is backsliding. Mm -hmm. You know, so which means there are chances of losing your salvation mm -hmm. if you keep on looking backward. I mean, where you are coming from, you drive a distance of... Uh, uh, or you know what, you are busy on, on, on a freeway driving and then all of a sudden you decide to look backwards, surely you clash. Yeah. You clash. Because you need to focus where you're going. You need to, your mind must be uh, occupied, of, oc occupied thinking of when am I going to arrive? Mm -hmm. I have to drive safely. You have to see new things. Or you, you have to be leading the road signs. I'm approaching a river. I'm approaching a bridge. I'm approaching a railway line. I'm approaching a, a hospital. You know, you do not have to think of a railway line that you have already uh, driven past. You know? Yeah. You have to think of what is ahead of you. Mm -hmm. What is ahead of you? Mm -hmm. What is ahead of you? So, this is what uh, I'm looking at it to say. Uh, these poor virgins... As you, the points that you have narrated here and a, a clear understanding, let me remind you, our viewers there, the points that you have raised here. You have said, in the first place, they were all the same. Yep. They received the word of God. They had the spirit of God. Amen. They had the revelation of God. But what made them to be called poor and the others to be, I mean, uh, foolish rather, not yep. poor, to be called foolish and the others to be called live? was the ability or the, the seriousness to maintain their status. Amen. Amen. Now, <clears throat> the, the, one of the lessons mm -hmm. that um, I want to bring out yes. of the uh, wise mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. foolish virgins mm -hmm. is I am believing that because they are virgins, they are born again, mm -hmm. that they did not go to hell. It doesn't mm -hmm. say they went to hell. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that. Mm -hmm. So, what, what, when they got to the Bema seat of Christ, the place mm -hmm. where they are being judged for mm -hmm. what they did in this life, mm -hmm. there's a place where it talks about how all their works will be burned up mm -hmm. and they'll be saved as if through fire. fire. So they are still saved, but they're somewhere in the place of outer darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're not in hell, but, but they're in a place where they are deeply mm -hmm. regretting mm -hmm. the things that they could have done and haven't mm -hmm. done, Amen. and they live with that the rest of their mm -hmm. eternity. Yes, yeah. yes. So, um, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I kind of lost where I was going to go. No, no, um, no. You, you, you are, we were explaining about uh, where they'll be found or they have lost oh, their... Oh, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. so... What happens, mm. the wise mm. have done what the Lord called them to do. Mm -hmm. They are doing it. Mm -hmm. They are growing in it. Mm -hmm. And they are blessed for it. Mm -hmm. They're given a place of greater responsibility mm -hmm. and greater authority mm -hmm. and greater blessing. Mm -hmm. And each step, they are living in closer and mm -hmm. closer communion mm -hmm. with the Father. Mm -hmm. And so when they get to heaven, mm -hmm. they're already going to be way closer mm -hmm to mm -hmm. the throne of God, mm -hmm. the knees here in the outer mm -hmm. outer limits, because mm -hmm. they they didn't have any mm -hmm. kind of a decent race mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. with the Father and the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in this life. Mm -hmm. They're not going to have a, mm -hmm. a greater mm -hmm. revelation of them in the, the life to come. Uh -huh. So their place in heaven mm -hmm. will be a place like outer darkness they'll re they'll be the regretting the, 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 yes the thing is they will be at a place where they will be regretting for the rest of what yeah 
their lives. Yeah. So it's not a good place. And it's not a good place. It's not a good place. That's but why here we are emphasizing on a point to say uh, we shouldn't be poor virgins because the blessings of a poor virgin, they are the blessings of neglect. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a reward. Mm-hmm. According to the Bible says everybody will be judged according to his deeds. What deeds. he did. Yes. Yeah. So every born again believer appears before mm-hmm. the bima, mm-hmm. the judgment seat of Christ, mm-hmm. judged for rewards. Mm-hmm. And some mm-hmm. will have nothing. Mm-hmm. And some mm-hmm. will have mm-hmm. great rewards. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, in my mind, I, mm-hmm. I see those rewards mm-hmm. as like jewels or whatever mm-hmm. that are part of their crown. Mm-hmm. And they they so love the Lord mm-hmm. that they throw their crowns before him. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't mm-hmm. even take claim mm-hmm. the, the, the reward for themselves. Mm-hmm. They return it to him mm-hmm. and, and to his glory and his mm-hmm. honor. Mm-hmm. Those, I want to be one of those Amen. that I've got jewels to put in my crown Mm -hmm. that I can lay before him Mm -hmm. that so the the lesson here and this is this is one now this this is an opinion Mm -hmm. okay this is my opinion yeah but there is I used to just like just like Laf says this is his opinion that these people uh, will not lose their salvation but they will be at a place where they will keep on regretting yeah. for the last of their lives. Yeah. And my opinion as well says uh, this place is not a place designed for the children of God. Mm. Amen. It's not a place designed for the children of God. Our place designed for the children of God is a very beautiful place that nobody will live a place of I mean will not live a life of neglect. Yeah. Amen. 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 And the the ultimate place is to be seated with Christ. With Christ Jesus. On the throne. Mm-hmm. Wow. And that That's... is the place that God has designed for us. For Jesus and as as Jesus says, we are his brothers. Yeah. And he, in this family, he is the first one, yeah. and we are the second one. Yeah. We call now him this our is brother. One of the uh, at one point, I would have said that if you're a born again believer, regardless mm-hmm. of where you are mm-hmm. on the scale, yes, when Jesus comes for the church, you're mm-hmm. going with him in the rapture. Amen. When I read this parable, mm-hmm. I. St- developed a change Mm -hmm. in my attitude. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now I'm thinking that you can lose your place. Mm -hmm. Like this is about a marriage Mm -hmm. feast and invited Mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. And the rapture Mm -hmm. is Christ bringing his Mm -hmm. bride home Mm -hmm. for the wedding feast of the Lamb. For the seven years of tribulation on the earth, the, the bride is in heaven in the celebrating the marriage feast mm-hmm. of the Lamb mm-hmm. where those the others mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm mm-hmm. so afraid when I mm-hmm. read that mm-hmm. uh, the difference here mm-hmm. is that not are they are they excuse me mm-hmm. those who love the Lord mm-hmm. and have were in intimate mm. had intimate relationship mm. with him mm. are invited in mm. and when the those mm. who had not maintained a relationship with mm. him mm-hmm. uh, we know they didn't because he said i don't recognize mm. you get out who are you mm-hmm. i don't recognize you mm-hmm. and the door was shut mm-hmm. they could not so mm. i'm suggesting mm-hmm. that one of the reasons you really want to keep up your relationship mm-hmm. with the Father and with the Jesus is that you will be invited into mm-hmm. the wedding feast of the Lamb Hallelujah. and not be left here Hallelujah. on earth Hallelujah. during the mm-hmm. uh, tribulation time of seven you have, years. You have brought in another very important statement. You know, you, have, you, you know, 
I, that's why I always believe. If you have, if, uh, if you have been hearing me, I mean, I, I, I let me put it in this way. You always hear me speaking about sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, your statement is suggesting that there is a part that God has done in your life mm -hmm. and my life. And there is a part that I'm supposed to do mm -hmm. to accomplish what God has done in my life. Amen. Though this will not sound proper to his, his theologians of grace. No, mm -hmm. no. It will not sound. He said, no, I, I have no part to do it. Mm. I agree you have got no part to do it. But the thing is, if you do not have part to, uh, you have no part to do it. If it all depends, if, if, if all is all about God, why will, God say, why will I find myself outside? Because yes, the people have been invited. Amen. And they have accepted the invitation. But when they approach the owner, he says, I do not know you. Yeah. Yeah. That means there's something that he, the owner expected me to do on top of what he, he has yeah. already done. Yeah. Well, you see, I have to put my effort, just as Paul says, you know, wake out your salvation with fear and what? And trembling. Trembling. Because it is a gift. Mm -hmm. The gift can slip out yeah. of your hands. Amen. Can slip out of your hands. So I have to work it with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. Others are not, uh, they, they have not received the gift. Mm -hmm. So I should not uh, abuse the gift that God has given me. Amen. So in this case, that's where I, I always put on the word of now, the word of sacrifice, you know. Mm -hmm. The word mm -hmm. sacrifice. These people, as you, you put it in the first place, you say, this other hand was busy, it's like holding the lamp. And I don't know where their, their eyes was. <laughs> the, the eyes was on the lamp or the eyes was on the hand that was busy yeah. with the worldly things. Mm. I am very much sure that the, their eyes and their body was very much busy with the world. Yes. And they suddenly they found that the owner has come, mm -hmm. yet they do not have what? They just don't have any. They don't have any light. In, 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 in they don't light. have any oil. No, no oil. And they had no ability to read again. The, 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 because the jars, were, were, the, 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 the containers were empty of, of oil. Yeah. This is what happens with somebody who is very busy with worldly things. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes he comes to church when it is Sunday today. It's when you take where the Bible is and then he does this. Then he carries it with fire. And when he says, let's open Ezekiah, you find him scrambling. He does not know even where Ezekiah, Ezekiel is. Yeah. You know? But, so this is the kind of a thing, uh, Pastor Love, you are introducing here to say, you, you are saying uh, God is warning us to continue. So you have put it, you say, maintaining the relationship. Yeah. It and is not the duty of God. That is my duty to maintain this relationship. Exactly, and mm -hmm. this is this is a part of this story of mm -hmm. the wise and mm -hmm. the foolish virgins. Yes, the wise virgins had maintained a close relationship, <laughs> so he recognized who mm -hmm. they were mm -hmm. and invited them into the mm -hmm. closed the door. Yes, when the foolish virgins came back, and he said to them, and this has got to be. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. Why didn't he know them? Mm -hmm. They were born again. Mm -hmm. They were his children. Mm -hmm. What had happened? Mm -hmm. They had spent so much time mm -hmm. away from mm -hmm. him and his presence. Mm -hmm. Their identity had so changed mm -hmm. that he no longer recognized mm -hmm. them because they hadn't maintained the relationship. Yes. They hadn't maintained mm -hmm. the relationship. The, the five wise mm -hmm. had maintained their mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm and were welcomed mm -hmm. into the wedding mm -hmm. feast of the Lamb. Amen. And five mm -hmm. had so neglected their mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. that they were no longer recognizable. Mm -hmm. They were no longer recognizable as his mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. They were so much like the world. Amen. They didn't, they did no longer had an invitation, invitation. Hallelujah. to come in. Hallelujah. Now, no, I'm, I'm going to need you to take the the teaching for a little for a couple of minutes i've got to go to the washroom okay thank you so much Sorry. thank Sorry. you so much lead away uh, yeah pastor love is coming i uh, should uh, you join us now i want to when pastor love comes you should take us into steps 
uh, of how to maintain this uh, relationship. The fact that there are some other people who can, I mean, can lose uh, the, their relationship with God, that means there are steps that will help somebody to maintain this uh, relationship with God. You know, a quick uh, summary of what uh, Pastor uh, Laugh uh, has been explaining to us um, a quick summary is in this. Uh, he says, Pastor Laff says, um, uh, is talking about the 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 wise virgins and the poor virgins. You know, these virgins, uh, he says, they are the children of God. But along the line, they they are now being divided. Some to be the poor. I mean, the foolish others to be the wise. Now we have seen the, uh, we were emphasizing on the category of the uh, foolish virgins. To say these foolish virgins, um, they are the people who knew what God expected them to do in their lives. They are the people who have got a full understanding of the calling of God in their lives. But they have decided not to take up uh, with that sense of seriousness, now they have decided to pursue what their eyes sees as very important in their lives. So uh, there is this danger that Pastor Paul, I mean, uh, uh, Pastor Love is explaining to us to say, if you do not do what God is expecting you to do, you will be cut off. Because God, when God calls you to be an evangelist, God calls you to be a pastor, an apostle, a prophet, he has already given you uh, the spirit of being fruitful. So if you are not fruitful, um, the Bible says, as love was leading us, the Bible says you will be cut off. Hmm. That means you are no longer useful. Amen. You know, so this is, I'm just giving a summary of what you were yep. uh, explaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he, he goes on to say, uh, these people, uh, um, uh, they started together as wise. Along the line, they ended up being foolish. And you say, and we said, uh, uh, Laugh was explaining to say, they started together as those who are redeemed, saved by God, and they, they were all filled with the Spirit of God, you know, and they all had the revealed Word of God. But along the line, they found themselves being what foolish. Reason, he laughs, says they didn't maintain their relationship with the Father. Amen. That's why they are found themselves as being foolish uh, virgins. So the issue here now that Paul is explaining to us this afternoon, he says, uh, maintaining uh, the relationship with the Father. So, Pastor, uh, I mean, Pastor Laf, when you are going there, I said, when you come, you take us into the steps, I feel. Mm -hmm. um, there are uh, steps that helped these five to be called the wise yeah. virgins. So and what are the, the obvious one? The obvious one. What do you think are the steps that the steps that can make somebody maintain uh, his close relationship with the Father? Well, Paul's going to tell us mm -hmm. in Ephesians chapter five. Yes. <clears throat> Wherefore, be not unwise. Mm. Oh, we're in chapter five, verse sixty. That is what. Re of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Redeeming the time mm -hmm. because the days are evil. Amen. Wherefore be ye not unwise. In other words, to be wise, mm -hmm. understand what the will of the Lord is. Be not drunk with wine when wherein is excess, but be, and it's a, the, the verb here is in a continuing tense. Hallelujah. So it's be being filled continually never stop mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. continually mm -hmm. being filled so the wise virgin but, this hand was not out in the world it was busy just, just like we continue eating to maintain our health exactly uh -huh. be being filled with the spirit speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart to the lord giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father 
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You keep now, your now, lamp now, or your, your container you explain, full of oil. Yeah, before you explain, you say, uh, be wise, number one. Number two, redeem your time. Yeah. Number three, the Bible says, understand the will of the Father. Amen. I have drawn three important points from that. You say, be wise. Amen. Number two, he says, redeem your time. Amen. Number three, he says, understand the will of the Father. Amen. I feel like speaking in tongues. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Mm. These are very important points. Yeah. Be wise. Yeah. When you talk of wisdom, in this case, I think you have been explaining this uh, part of wisdom is knowing to do. Yes. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is uh, receiving, first of all, receiving the gift that the Father gives you. Mm -hmm. Receive it. Mm -hmm. That's the first wise thing mm -hmm. you can do. Mm -hmm. The second one mm -hmm. is to give thanks for it. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Appreciate the mm -hmm. gift. Mm -hmm. And then the th next step mm -hmm. is to do something with it. Mm -hmm. To do it. Mm -hmm. Whatever your calling or your gifting is, walk in it to mm -hmm. the fullness of the degree you can, mm -hmm. learning to walk mm -hmm. in it better and mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw in the uh, uh, the lesson here mm -hmm. in that as you walk in the Lord, mm -hmm. He will give you increasing responsibility mm -hmm. and increasing authority, mm -hmm. increasing revelation. Mm -hmm. And as you walk closer and closer to Him, mm -hmm. being more and more mm -hmm. like the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. I mean, in whose image we were made. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're becoming more and more mm -hmm. like Him. Mm -hmm. This all is... This all is wisdom. This mm -hmm. is all wisdom. that the Lord speaks to mm -hmm. us of. Mm -hmm. uh, and speaking to yourselves, mm -hmm. something you have to choose to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. You can't speak without choosing mm -hmm. to speak. Mm -hmm. If you're not choosing mm -hmm. to speak, mm -hmm. nothing happens. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, when you talk of wisdom, you, you have tackled wisdom. Uh, when you talk of wisdom, as uh, Laf has analyzed, analyzed there are so many points on the word wisdom. Now, I, I just want to add on what uh, Lafa said. Wisdom is understanding mm -hmm. what to, uh, the right thing Amen. to be done. Amen. The right thing that is supposed to be done. Amen. That is wisdom. You know, if they, uh, like in Malawi, let me put it uh, an example uh, this time around. Like in Malawi, it is raining now. Mm -hmm. A wise man is on the field working. It's, Malawi is an ag agricultural country that we depend on rains. Mm. That means when it is a dry season, we no longer what? Uh, uh, cultivate or we no longer farm. Mm. We wait up until another rainy season what comes. Mm. You know? So, and, and if you do not cultivate during the rainy season, that means you not have food. Mm. So a wise man at this particular time, he knows what is supposed to be done. Mm. He knows that he is supposed to be in the field. Yeah. You know, working. So this is what the Paul is speaking to the Ephesians. Say, be wise. Amen. Be wise. Do what is beneficial Amen. to you. Amen. And I feel like, I mean, to add on what you have just explained here, that is wisdom. A foolish man will find himself, when he is supposed to be in the field, he is now in the garden uh, farming, planting seeds yeah. for his food, for his household's food, consumption. He's now f busy in the field of prayer, praying football, while his friends are busy in what? That is a foolish word. Yeah. Man. Just to add on what you are saying there, because the world, I mean, the word Paul has given us three important um, disciplines, I'll call it discipline, the way you have unrighted it from Ephesians chapter 5, verse what? Sorry. Eph Ephesians chapter 5, verse? Yeah. Oh, well, we're, we're talking here about... Uh, Verse well, nineteen. That is Ephesians Speaking chapter five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Verse nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. We get Speaking. this 
we get these facts from Ephesians chapter 5 verse 19 that Paul was speaking. You know, this kind of a thing that, you know, you know, let's look at the person who was advising the Ephesians. Mm -hmm. Paul himself. Amen. He says, be wise. And he was even, when you look at it, the very same, should, is it chapter 4 verse 6? Is it chapter 4? Let's, chapter 4 verse 9? Let's read verse 6. Is it? What are you looking for? Uh, let's read this one. Ah, no, no, no. Is it chapter 4? Let's go to... Do we, do we have chapters? Let me check. There's yeah. something. Yeah, chapter 6 should be verse 9. Let's read chapter 6 okay, verse 9. Okay, 6. Mm. Verse 9. 9. And you masters do the same things unto them. Forbearing, threatening. Mm -hmm. No, not no, no. okay. Verse six. So that means three. No, four, six. Oh my goodness! What are you looking for? Um, he says. He Paul says, whatever you have seen in me, put it into practice. Mm. You know. He says, whatever you have seen in me, put that thing in what? In practice. Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying now, let's look at this kind of a person who is advising the Pharaoh, the science in Ephesians. Mm -hmm. You know? He, 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 uh, now let's take him as an example. And the facts that he has outlined here he says, be wise. Yeah. Paul was the most, the wise servant of God. Amen. Because he always says, he, when you read the, he, in his writing, says, you know, I can be everywhere doing whatever you feel like doing. Mm -hmm. I can be there doing them. It's not a sin for me to go and watch football, for me to go and maybe do other things. But you know, um, I understand, you know, when you go to this, uh, I mean, to uh, uh, the fact number three says, I under understand the will of God. He says, I understand the will of God in me. Therefore, I do only that will help me to advance Amen. the will of God. Amen. That is being wise. Yes. You know, that is being wise. So, and this is the kind of person he says, look unto me. You know, I didn't want it that verse. I don't know. The enemy is yeah. trying to snatch that scripture. Is, is it? No, we have to, to look onto that one. Sorry. Our viewers out there, let me uh, read a fetch this scripture. Hmm. Oh, it's, it's, it's Philippians chapter 4. Philippians. Did you mm. say? Oh, yeah. Philippians 4. It, it, 4 verse 9. Philippians chapter 4 verse 9. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. that the God of peace and the God of peace shall be with you. Those things mm -hmm. which you have both learned mm -hmm. and received mm -hmm. and heard mm -hmm. and seen in mm -hmm. me do. So not only what I've said, mm -hmm. but what you've learned from me, me? and what S you've seen me doing. Mm -hmm. So he's saying everything that in spirit, soul, mm -hmm. and body, mm -hmm. uh, my will is tuned mm -hmm. into the spirit. Mm -hmm. And so not only mm -hmm. do I speak these mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. from my heart, but I do I them. Do them. I do that. Mm -hmm. So this is the reason now I say, look onto the person who was advising the Ephesians. Amen. You say, be wise. Number one says, be wise. Yeah. Number two, he says what? Redeem your time. Amen. Number three, he says, understand the will of what? The Father. Amen. You know, so he was not only talking, you know, he, he, he stood as an example to them. Yeah. You know, now this is the reason I said this kind of a person. He says, "I can do everything. Yeah? I mean, I can do whatever I want. I can yeah. be, I can be driving on. It's not a sin. I can spend all days driving on the highways, doing everything, but that will not help my spiritual life. Amen. And will not even advance the kingdom of God. Amen. He says, "I only do one thing that builds my spiritual life. Yeah, that advances the kingdom of God. 
That's the only. So he is wise. He does not, he does not engage in these other things. He does not do things, everything. No, he does, he, he was always focused on the things that could help him advance Amen. the kingdom of God. That could build his spiritual life. So that's why confidently when he met the Philippians, he told them by faith, whatever you have received from me, yeah. whatever you have learned from me, mm-hmm. whatever you have seen in me, put them into practice. Amen. That is awesome. Amen. You know, that is awesome. So now, that's the, now I just wanted to add on the point of wisdom. Being wise. Yeah, just before we get away from it, before mm. I forget it, mm-hmm. in one place he says, mm-hmm. "Follow me as, as I, I have follow, follow Christ." Christ, absolutely. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. He says, "Follow me as he was is an example, very a wise person. Yeah. Follow me." Amen. You don't have to question to say, "How am I going to 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 maintain my relationship?" You say, "Look unto me. See what I'm doing every day life. Yeah. Yeah. If I spend five hours praying." Do what I'm doing. Yeah. If I spend five hours reading the word of God, do what I'm doing. If I am on the road preaching to everybody, do what I'm doing. Amen. If you see me helping the needy, do what I'm doing. Amen. You know? Exactly. Exactly. He said, wow. follow me as I follow what? As I follow Christ. Amen. So this is the kind of zeal that the f- foolish virgin did not have. Amen. Exactly. That's why they were found too busy in self-interest. Self-interest. Yeah. The thing that the thing that is destroying the image of you know. If 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 I stamp out and I go outside evangelizing, everybody will look unto me. Says he wants to be rich. Mm. You know because they have seen people abusing that kind of a thing. Yeah. You know you say you say you are, you are preaching. You want more people to come to your church so that they should give you more money. Mm-hmm. You know. The reason we are not we are we are not the examples of the followers of Christ Jesus as Paul was, yeah. you know. And the one time he was he, 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 where was he? Is it in Thessalonians? He says, "I've not if, uh, Corinthians, I've not been a burden to any of you. Amen. My own hands has what has worked yeah. for my supply. Amen. You, if you gave me, you gave me out of your own what." Will I never forced anybody? Amen. You know, you yeah. gave you gave out of your own way. Will I never forced? Otherwise, when you looked at me, I was always making something so that I sell and I I sell and buy food for me, buy clothing for for myself. Yeah. You know, I was an example. So I'm taking from what the word says: "Follow me as I follow." As I follow Christ. Christ. That's a very powerful statement. So that's, the, that's just a one word that I just wanted. I mean, a statements or either statements that I wanted to add because these three uh, elements or discipline, I call them discipline of a believer to maintain mm. your relationship with the Father. That Pastor Love has just outlined here from uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 19. He says, be wise, redeem your time, and understand the will of God. Yeah. Now, how, how do you understand uh, the term uh, redeeming your time. Well, redeeming is mm-hmm. to buy back. Okay? So I had 33 years walking outside of Christ. Mm-hmm. So I've done my best to walk as close as I can mm-hmm. and in that time to have learned as much as I can and shared as much as I can, given where I can and... Uh, Prayed where I can, for what I can, Mm -hmm. for what I can have faith for. Mm -hmm. And all of that is redeeming Mm -hmm. the time that I missed and Mm -hmm. lost. Or, if you want to go to the football game, Mm -hmm. go for it. Mm -hmm. It, Go for it. Put your effort. You Put all your energy. Yeah. Go and enjoy the Mm -hmm. football game. Mm -hmm. But then redeem it afterward. Mm -hmm. Spend... Those people that you saw Mm -hmm. in the audience, especially around where you were sitting, Mm -hmm. and say, you know, I noticed this one and Mm -hmm. that one, and pray for them. Mm -hmm. Redeem the time. Mm -hmm. Take what you learned there Mm -hmm. or saw there Mm -hmm. in the spirit, Mm -hmm. in the need of the people, Mm -hmm. and redeem the time Mm -hmm. by praying for them. And so you can turn... Turn your trip to the football game for your pleasure Mm -hmm. into working for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So that's that with just one thought that occurs. Yes, that is very true. That is very true what you are just explained here. In other words, 
if at all there was a time that you wasted, yeah. now you have got time. Yeah. Now that you know, yeah. work like you, you have not lost any time. Amen. Yes, I like it that way. Yeah. yeah. Work yeah. like you have not lost any time. Yeah. The Lord was, knew mm -hmm. when you would ultimately mm -hmm. give your heart to mm -hmm. him. He mm -hmm. knew what it circumstance it mm. would take to get you in the mm -hmm. right place. Amen. And so from that moment to yes. this, nothing yes. has been wasted. Amen. Nothing's been wasted. Amen. Because all the rest of it was preparation mm -hmm. to get you, you to the place. Mm -hmm. For me, it was mm -hmm. to get into a mm -hmm. big enough mess. We cry, I say, thank you so much. <laughs> we cry, Lord, Father, why did you not save me when I was young? Mm. So that is, we are enjoying Pastor Love. We yeah. are enjoying here. Yeah. <laughs> Father, why did you not save me when I was young? Now, the time God knew when you come in. I always said, uh, like last Saturday when we were uh, on the ark again here, I said, it was, not, it was not that you were walking and then accident, accidentally you met God. No. Mm -hmm. No. God knew you before the creation. Amen. And he knew the time he would snatch you from the hands of the enemy. Amen. And he did. And he did. Whoa. So it was not by accident. Yeah. Therefore, when he says, redeem your time, uh, according to what you have said, uh, in other words, I would say, maximize the time that you are Amen. having. That I have now. That you have now. Maximize Max the time ma I have. Maximize yeah. the time. Amen. By doing what God wants you to do. Yeah. By doing something that is beneficial, profitable yeah. to you on this earth and the kingdom to come. Amen. So Paul says, Paul is encouraging these people, Understand, redeem your time, my brothers. So in this case, these wise, foolish virgins, they never redeemed their time. Amen. So a man who redeems his time, who always put to the use of every available time to do the will of God, that one is a wise virgin. Amen. He maintains a closer relationship with the Father. Amen. Praise be to God. And one time I heard you, you were mentioned to say, you know, in this case, you mentioned something to say. If you become faithful to small things, yeah. then much will be given to you as a, Amen. a responsibility. Yeah. You're res responsible with, the, with, with what you're given. Mm -hmm. You will be given more. You'll be given more. You if you prove faithful to this small thing, that means you have qualified for a bigger thing. Amen. Exactly. Amen. Yeah, Pastor Ray likes to teach that. Mm -hmm. um, if you qualify, if you have got, you have been given a small thing. You, are, you know, the owner have said, uh, Pastor Christopher, you look around only this part. Don't touch anywhere. Then I, my part, is, I keep it that part green. He says, Oh, he's qualified now to look for the less of what, yeah. the house. Amen. No, he's qualified now to look for the less of the kingdom of God. Amen. No, if he was a mayor of the city, and he performed wonders. I think he can be the governor of the region. Amen. And you perform wonders on the regional level. He says, no, we need this man to be the president of the nation. Because Amen. you have performed wonders as the mayor of the, of the city. And you were promoted to the governor of the region. You performed wonders again. Now, who will deny you the hot seat of the land? Amen. Nobody. So it's the same way, it's redeeming use, you know, when you have time, it is not the time to say, now I needed this time in my life. Now it's the time I can plunder resources. It's the time that I can touch women. It's the time that I can build my, 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 my empire. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm the in charge of the finances of the church, now I, I, I can manipulate, I can maneuver, I can benefit something without the knowledge of the, administ the whole administ entire administration of the church. You have messed up. Okay. You end up being the what? Uh, the foolish. The foolish virgin. Yeah. Now, uh, finally, um, maybe for the sake of time, let's yes, finish. Yes, we need to wind up. Yeah, yeah maybe let's just finish with uh, understanding the will of the Father. As a three points, let's finish. With, should we leave it for the next Saturday? Uh, yeah, I think you and Pastor Ray mm -hmm. are going to do next Saturday. I'm okay. going to be away. Okay, thank you so I'm much. Doing some, some family stuff for Christmas. For Christmas, okay. So, uh, yeah, thank you yeah, so much. Huh? Yeah, do it. Okay. 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 You, you've got a 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, 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 okay, thank you. Pastor Love says I have to do it. Uh, the, uh, the final part is that the Bible has just said here. You know, Pastor Love is talking on the uh, the steps that helps one to maintain the close relationship with the Father. He says, number one, as a servant of God, we need to be wise. Number two, as servants of God, uh, we need to be to redeem our time. And uh, number three, he says, as servants of God, we need to understand the will of the Father. Amen. Let it understand fully the will of the Father. You know, this uh, reminds me in, in Acts chapter, is this 26 verse 19? This is 26 verse 19. You know, uh, let's read, if I'm correct, if not 26, 19. Let's just read there. Um, Acts chapter, uh, 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 let's check Acts chapter 26, 19. Am I right there? Mm. Yeah, whereupon, O King Agrippa, mm -hmm. I was not disobedient mm -hmm. unto the heavenly vision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. I was not disobedient to the heavenly mm -hmm. vision. You know, it's, 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 when you go above, you find that Paul was explaining how he met Christ Jesus, how he got converted. And then he was explaining to King Agrippa, he said, when I received this vision, now, immediately, I stepped into it. He says, Amen. I was not disobedient. And when it comes to verse, uh, verse 19, then when it comes to verse 20, uh, what he says in verse 20, he says, uh, in verse 20, he says, I preached first to those in Damascus, then in Jerusalem, throughout all Judea, and also to the Gentiles, that all must repent of their sins and turn to God and prove them and prove they have changed by the good things they do. Uh, Amen. Let's, let's read King James Version. Did, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, which showed unto them first of mm -hmm. Damascus and at Jerusalem mm -hmm. and throughout all the coasts of Judea mm -hmm. and then to the Gentiles mm -hmm. that they should repent, mm -hmm. turn to God, mm -hmm. and do the works of repentance fit or meet for repentance. Hallelujah. Suitable for repentance. Suitable for them. They have to produce fruits of repentance. Amen. You know, now, that's not what we want to speak now uh, on, on, on uh, understanding the will of God. The will of God. You know, Paul understood the will of God. And he says he was not disobedient. Amen. So, disobedient, in this case, when you read verse 20, he says, immediately I started preaching to those who were right there in Damascus. Yeah. Because he met Jesus right in Damascus. Yeah. So he started testifying about Jesus right there in Damascus. Amen. You know? So he says, in number one, verse 19, he said he was not disobedient. He fully understood, understood why God, I mean, why Jesus appeared to him. Amen. And Jesus spoke to him, I have appeared you that you should be my instrument when you read other versions. Yeah. That you should be my instrument. So he grabbed the will. He understood the will of the yeah. Father. And he was not disobedient. He started right away. So this is the number one, the number three thing again that helps you and me to maintain that close relationship with the Father is by understanding mm -hmm. uh, the will of the Father. And a, a, another lesson to learn mm, from mm, that is mm. that as soon as you're born again, yeah. you're already qualified to mm. preach the gospel. Because absolutely. That, and that was what Paul did. Mm -hmm. He was mm -hmm. converted on the road, mm -hmm. and within days, mm -hmm. he's preaching the gospel. The gospel. Yeah. What was important was, because the Bible says, that's sorry, this is what I was preaching on Sunday, where I went, I, I, that's what I was preaching on Sunday, you said, I was uh, differentiating to say, when you read upon, sorry, that uh, when you read upon the, the Bible say, soon after John the Baptist baptized Jesus, the Bible said the Spirit of God descended upon him like a dove. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says again, the very same Spirit, when descended upon the apostles, those yeah. waiting for the Holy Spirit in that upper room, the Spirit of God descended upon them in a form like, a form of what? Fire. Mm -hmm. But on Jesus, like what? A dove. And why did it descend in that manner on Jesus? It was coming to his own. Mm -hmm. There was nothing in Jesus that was not of God. Mm. So that's why it descended in a form of, in a diplomatic manner. Amen. But to these ones that were in that... They needed to burn to up some burn stuff. To burn up some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> to burn up some stuff, you know. So it burned up some stuff. 
and they could find the same thing that happened with Paul. It right. had to close his eyes, yeah. you know. We've got the fire going in in Christopher, and we do need to praise. We be do need to come to an end. Christopher's got the fire, and yes. he just can't stop. Hallelujah. So we'll, Amen. Amen. Thank we'll you just, so much, Pastor Love, yeah. for that wonderful teaching that you brought and us, the, the oh. wise virgin and the uh, foolish virgins. Mm -hmm. So God wants us to be the wise, to maintain the, us being wise, to maintain the spirit that is upon us as the children of God, to maintain us, to maintain uh, doing the will of the Father. We should keep continually keep the fire burning. Our lamps must always, I mean, must bring light to the nation, to the village, to the community, the society that we are in. This is the uh, teaching that Pastor Love has started giving us from last uh, Saturday yeah. to this Saturday. May God bless you so much, yeah. Pastor Love, for this wonderful Amen. Thank teaching. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for so all. Much. Awesome contribu contribution that Amen. you've made. Amen. Oh, wow. Amen. There are so many people who appreciate Amen. Our, our back and forth teachings. Amen. Yeah. I mean, thank you yeah. so much. So thank if you. you'll go, I'll just uh, yeah, close pray the session and then yes. you can yes. push the finish button. Yes. Please. So the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace, placing his names upon you. Jehovah Tzidkenu, the Lord our righteousness. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. And Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. The Lord bless you in peace and keep you until next Saturday. Amen. <laughs>